How's it going, everyone? Rachel West here along with Rick Stroud and Joey Knight. And we're here at Raymond James where the Bucks just took down the Dolphins. And guys, I think it's fair to say Tom Brady had a pretty good day today. I mean, first time in his career uh, throwing for over 400 yards and five touchdowns. In the same game. And I think it's also safe to say he's playing the best football of his career at age 44. He's an ageless wonder. And, and to boot, in his last three games, he has... 30 yards on eight carries. He's averaging nearly four yards a carry. The guy is, well, spry is not the right word. That's for old people. He's an, he's an ageless wonder. And, you know, he distributed the ball all over the place today. They were efficient in the red zone, four or five in touchdowns inside the red zone, not counting that kneel down at the end of the game. And Tom wasn't in the game at that point anyway. It, it's just amazing what this guy is doing at age 44. I've run out of adjectives. I've run out of adjectives. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> um, and another guy, Rick, who had a pretty good game today, Antonio Brown, uh, got his 900th career catch and then a couple more after that. Yeah, and you know, it turns out you break a record like that, the fastest to 900 catches in the NFL, and that just began his day, right? That was his first catch. Um, what he did in turning just a simple crossing route and running away from Xavier and Howard for a touchdown really gave them the lead. They never uh, let it go. And he's been running away from people like he has his problems. I mean, it was less than a year ago that this guy came in here after being suspended for eight games because of personal conduct policy that he violated. And now he's, he's a Boy Scout. I mean, he's been a, a perfect model citizen and a tremendously productive player and as Bruce Arian says, as the third receiver on this team, it's almost unfair because teams don't have enough cornerbacks to cover all these guys. They do have plenty of weapons, that's for sure. Um, and now the team's been hit by the injury bug a lot here, and the hits just keep on coming. Uh, Levante David went down. What's his status? Well, Bruce Arian said afterward he has a high ankle sprain. It was a cringe-inducing play. Domicon Sue got rolled on him. Uh, an offensive lineman pushed Sue into Levante as he was going up to try to deflect a pass as he came down. Sue rolled on his legs. Bruce Arian says it's a high ankle sprain. We'll obviously know more in the next few days. And while we're on the topic of Brady, he evidently hit a Dolphin player's helmet on a first half completion to Cam Brate. He had it wrapped up after the game. Now, it didn't affect his play. I think he went 13 <laughs> of 16 in the second half. Yeah. But that's something to watch because it may not be throbbing now, but Monday, the day after Monday, um, that could be a different story. So Tom Brady's somebody to watch too. <laughs> Absolutely, something to keep an eye on. Um, and then Rick, we've got a real short week here. They're mm. playing in Philly on Thursday. So what does the week ahead look like for them? Well, there's really not practice. I mean, you know, when you have a Thursday night game, it's more about just trying to get your bodies back. There'll be a lot of walkthrough practices. Um, we'll have a chance to talk to everybody like we always do. But they didn't handle this situation very good a year ago. You know, they went to Chicago, had arguably one of their worst games. They lost 20 to 19. They had 11 penalties. Um, so they need to take some of that uh, experience and do better with it. But a chance to go five and one, and then if they do. Um, they're able to get like 10 days off before they play again, maybe get some guys back healthy like Ronkowski and others. So it's a short week, but an important one and one where they could rack up two victories. Absolutely. And everyone, make sure you're keeping up with all of our coverage leading up to the game on Thursday over on social media as well as TampaBay.com.